Welcome everybody and thank you for joining us today on BZB TV. My name is Joel. Today is the perfect episode to tune into because we will be showcasing our PTZ joystick controller that can control both IP and serial controllable PTZ cameras. It is the BG Commander. Now we did a quick product introduction uh, video to this that you can quickly check up here. Just click on the link, but make sure you guys come back here right after. Now BG Commander, that might sound like the big boss at the final level, but that's only because this unit right here is like an apex predator of joystick controllers. Its control is instantaneous and it is super accurate and precise once it locks in on its target. All right, well, that's enough of me hyping up this unit. Let's throw it over to Nate where he will show us how to connect this to multiple PTZ cameras. All right, so Nate, take it away. Show me what you're working with. Hey GearHeads, Nate here from the tech support team. Today we are introducing the BG Commander IP joystick and we're pumped for this joystick. It is awesome. There's a lot of cool features, but it's really simple to use and it's really easy to uh, just uh, add your cameras and adjust and everything. And today we're just gonna go over some basic setup on how to add your IP cameras to it, how to get it on your local network and get you rolling with your production. And so first things first, you wanna make sure that your cameras that you're using are on your local network. And so you haven't done that yet, go ahead and check out this video right up here to get them on the same network. So now let's go over our setup here. We have everything running PoE. We have our little network, PoE network switch. Everything is PoE enabled, power over ethernet. So this is plugged in as PoE as well. So we do not have to worry about any power adapters. It makes a really simple, clean setup. Cameras are PoE. Everything is networked through here. So we are good to go. A um, Couple cameras we're using today is the UPDZ and then we got our 4K NDI cameras. The links are down below if you wanna check them out, a little more information about that. And so first things first, let's get this joystick on your network. So first, let's go ahead and hit your setup button there and go down to your fourth option, which is network attribute. There are two options there. You can statically assign your IP address or DHCP. You're welcome to statically assign if you're really looking for that specific IP address for your joystick. But for this example, we're gonna do DHCP. So it just auto, auto assigns an IP address from our local network. So we're gonna go hit enter. Enter again, restart, yes. And it'll just take about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seconds. Just a quick reset and then boom, got our native IP now, which is, it matches our subnet, which is 192.168.30.64. That now is on our local network here. So next thing we're gonna do is, let's go ahead and add this UPDZ camera to this joystick. Really simple, go ahead and hit setup. Go to your first option there is add network device. We'll make this camera number one. Protocol, you have a couple options for uh, protocol. We got Visca, we got OnVIF and Sony Visca. For, this, uh, for our cameras, all of them use the Visca protocol, so we're gonna be using that. IP address, we already signed for this is 192.168. 30, and we'll toggle over to get to that last bracket, 186, hit enter. Port number for the Visca port is 1259. All of, most of all our cameras, that network port is 1259 for the Visca port. Go ahead and hit enter, and boom. Go ahead and escape out, hit camera number one, and we're rolling, go left and right, really smooth, up and down, um, easy control. So there you go. So we're gonna go ahead and add our 4K NDI camera now. Same thing, go ahead, hit setup. Number one is add network device. We'll make this camera number two. Protocol is Visca. IP address is 192.168.30. I'll go over to 179. That's the IP address we assigned for this one. Port number is same thing, 1259. Hit enter, success. Go ahead and escape out to your main menu and then select camera two. And boom, we are up and rolling. So there you go. Now we got both cameras on the net on our on our joystick here. 
So next thing is presets. This is really easy to do presets with this guy. Um, so for example, for this camera, if we wanna make the preset, that corner over there, all you have to do is let's make this preset number one. So I'm gonna hit number, hold down button number one for three seconds, one, two, three. That sets the preset. So to recall it, let's get out of that position there and go ahead and hit that button number one. And there you go. Really simple just to set those presets and you can override it by just holding down that button and then you can do as many as you want with all these uh, buttons here, <laughs> with all these numbers. Uh, next cool feature is um, adjusting. You can adjust the zoom speed or the PT speed of each, each camera, whatever one's um, addressed. For example, if we wanna slow down the PT speed for this one, you just toggle through. Let's go down to like one. If you're looking for that more cinematic slow pan um, of the room, you can you can do that. And uh, yeah, and some other awesome features is adjusting exposure, color, all that kind of things. You could do it right here. Um, you can you set your white balance. You can do um, your depending on what your lighting situation is. You can adjust your uh, you can do auto exposure or you could adjust your iris. To, you know to get your uh, perfect lighting. And also you have a lot of options with uh, the uh, manual focus or autofocus to just to get that ideal shot. Um, so overall, you can see this is a really simple, um, but it does a lot. It's, uh, it's the commander, it commands a lot. You can do everything right here. Um, so that's it for today, really simple. Um, but once again, we are using the UPTZ camera and uh, our 4K NDI cameras. We've got a lot of camera options. And so you can check out those links to look at those cameras. Also check out the link more about this, this joystick. If you have any questions, give us a call at Tech Support. If you have any sales questions and possibly interested in purchasing one of our products here, reach out to our sales team. But thanks for being with us today. Um, yeah, we'll see you on the other end and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Get to the chopper!